Hey everybody, welcome back to another video, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to mod Boneworks on Steam VR. No, I don't really know how to do it on Oculus, so sorry about that, but but I do play on Quest too, so that's cool. But anyway, let's hop right into it. So first, you just open Steam, go into your library, and see Boneworks, right click it, okay? Once it's ready. Now I'll go to properties. And local files. And browse. Now I'll click on Boneworks. You might want to minimize that. Close it. Minimize. Whatever you want to do. Um, now. You. First step you want to do. Is you want to go ahead and over to boneworks.thunderstorm.io. I already have the mod. So I'm not really going to install it or import it to my computer but basically you get melon loader and manual download and you have keep in mind you have to have winrar in order for this to work you might be able to use 7-zip but i don't know how to do all that i don't use 7-zip but um yeah winrar <clears throat> i highly recommend it so whenever this is done just drag it to your desktop but while I'm waiting I'm going to show you the other mod you do need so mod that is not mod is also <laughs> mandatory they both are actually well, I'll go ahead and manually download that is gnome mod that is not mod okay so when it's done see when mod again is done so melon loader is already almost done Set 100%, you just gotta wait for it. <clears throat> okay, it's done. So now you just drag this to your desktop. And then drag this to your desktop. Okay. Now this one. You should right click it. Now you have to extract it to the same name. See, you see Lava Gang Melon Loader. Right click it. Extract to Lava Gang Melon Loader. Now you can trash this once it's done. Okay, now trash it. Lava Gang Melon Loader. And with Melon Loader, you just take this entire file, so just go up here. And I'm not gonna release it, but you just drag it right into your move to Boneworks. Now I'm gonna trash that because I already have it. And yes, after that's done, um, now all you gotta do is load up the game till it gets to the main menu. So you can go ahead and minimize this. Go to Boneworks, play. <clears throat> now mine is in beta. Just so you know, you don't have to have it in beta. Don't worry about that. Now you should see this pop up right here. Now just, I'm not going to sit here and make you guys watch it load because, uh, man, I have tons of mods. It's going to take a lot of load up. So yeah, you just do that until you get to your main menu where it says, like, story mode select or it might say stress level zero or myth list. Depends if you've completed the game or not. After that, all you got to do is you go back to your Boneworks modding folder. And as, as you can see, you ha you will have mods, plugins, user data, user LIBS, and melon loader, Boneworks data. You should have all of this. And basically, all you got to do <coughs> is the DLL folders, all the DLL, doesn't matter what it is, if it's DLL, it's going to mods. See? Boneworks modding toolkit dot dll this needs to come with it so you don't gotta worry about that camera plus dll custom apps dll 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 you, you get the idea you have to have dll plugins i don't know i never had to use a plugin use your data so if you click on this this is all different you won't get all this custom items and maps and all that until 
you download the um uh, the custom map mod which you'll see is in here as well see custom maps .dll. if you have mod that is not mod it already comes with um uh, custom items pre-install I think yeah I'm pretty sure so <clears throat> you don't have to worry about that but yeah for custom apps you will need to download that I'll link it in the description but yep you know how to download it now and you'll place it as a DLL in here and then you should start up the game wait for it to get to the main menu and then close it and then when you reopen the mods folder should be in user data and it should say custom maps if not then you just right click new folder and you rename it capital C custom capital M maps but uh, I don't need that so yeah um yep that's how you do that now, if they are dot melon folders, and they go into custom items, you see like anti tank rifle dot melon dot melon dot melon dot melon. You get the idea. They're all dot melon. Now, if it's custom maps, then it should be dot bcm. See, dot bcm, 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 <laughs> and uh, don't worry about that. Player models. If you if you have entanglement and you want your player models to show, I'll also link that in my description. Then you just go here, and I don't know which files those are yet, but it should tell you it when you download the custom uh, player model. If you have any questions, make sure to leave it down in the comments. Please leave it down in the comments. That'll really help me, and it'll really help you. So, um. That's how you do it. And I don't really feel like starting up Boneworks right now. It's going to take a while. So, in order to do this, you just start up Boneworks. It'll pop up Melon Loader and all that. It'll say Loading Mods. And when you get in, you should be able to hold the B button or the Y button if you're playing on Oculus. And you should be able to have that pop-up menu. And it should say Bone Menu. So, when you, t when you go into the Bone Menu, basically... It will be on your left hand, so you have to use your right pointer finger to press each button that you want to use. And then, you can go anywhere, you can do anything. It's pretty cool. And I hope you enjoyed, I hope you, you'll have fun with this. If it helped, make sure to leave a like. And if you want more tutorials, definitely leave a like and comment. If you want to be a part of my channel and be notified whenever I post a new video, of uh, just subscribe and turn on the bell and yeah i hope you guys really enjoy this and hope that helped have a amazing day and but your boy will be signing out